What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Rice where we look at ways that you can live better for less. And today we're going to be taking a look at lock laces. Replacement laces for your shoes. So let's go. Okay, so what are lock laces? Pretty simple, they're replacement laces for your shoes. So rather than having the uh, conventional solid tight tie-in shoelace, you replace them with these lock laces, which are made of more of a plastic, not a plastic, uh, elastic. So they're elastic laces and they stretch with your foot as you move and when you put them on. This means they're great if you've got mobility problems, leg problems, back problems, anything like that, because you can literally just slip them straight on. There's no bending over, no tying up, nothing like that. Once they're set, they're set. You don't even have to move the little locking mechanism there. Um, so they come in a variety of colors. Obviously I've got the green ones there. I've also got the blue ones and the black ones. And I've been using these for quite a few years now. These are my old ones with the blues on. And you can see they still work absolutely perfectly. They haven't worn down or anything like that. Before this, I used um, hickeys, you might have seen. The difference with the hickeys is they're, they're like a tight rubber and they do each individual lace. It goes from one side to the other and you have to install each individual lace. The trouble with the hickeys was they're very tight and they can create these hot spots, uh, which can be quite uncomfortable. On top of that, because they are rubber, if you're in the gym or anything where, where your laces are rubbing and touching on the floor, they do wear out a lot quicker. Uh, these I've been using for quite a few years now um, and they are much better. Definitely worth an investment. So when you open the packet, um, you can get them individually. I think they are about £7.50 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. You can get two packets for £12.99. I think it's three packets for £16.99. I say think, it's written right there. Um, I got the three packets, actually got these for Christmas. Uh, but what's that work out? 17, 18. So less than six quid a pack. Definitely worth getting. Um, they come in this nice little package. You just open the top. It's got a resealable top. I'm not ever going to really reseal it. Inside you have two laces, two elastic laces there. Two locking caps. Like that and two end caps. These are the pieces on the end that keep the laces together there. Uh, the instructions, pretty straightforward. It says quick and easy instructions, lace the shoes, squeeze the lock, thread in the ends, uh, slide the lock down to the end where you want it, and then you basically you, you cut off the end. When you get them in a packet, they are pretty long. Um, as a comparison, this is my old lace from my trainer. The new one, the, uh, the lock lace, is... Okay, it's basically exactly the same. Um, but they do seem a lot longer when you get them out the packet. And obviously they stretch as well. Um, but what you will find is because of the way they lace up and you don't have to tie them, you do end up with quite an excess on the end. Personally, I like to leave a little bit because that way if I want to put these onto another pair of trainers in the future, you can just cut the end off and, uh, and relace the new pair with this. If you cut it too short, if you cut it down here somewhere, you're going to have no room to play and, and no room to uh, make adjustments or use them again after. So once you've laced your shoes up, like so, if you lace them up fairly loose, the one thing to bear in mind is when they come out of the packet, They've got this almost like a, a melted plastic to it. I don't know if you can see that. Which stops the ends from fraying because once they're on, you need to cut off the excess and you do get this, this fray. Now, if you're only gonna use them on one pair of shoes and you have no intention of replacing them, it doesn't really matter. But in case you did wanna use them on another pair at a later date, um, it's worth remembering that. So you wanna leave a little bit of excess so you can cut that back because trying to get the frayed end through the, the shoe hole, the uh, shoelace hole is really difficult. Uh, the more you try and force it through, the worse the fraying gets. And you can even see, even with the plastic on, just trying to fit that in there is a pain in the ass. There we go. So to do that without the support of the melted plastic is um, 
really difficult. Um, if you do have to do that, I recommend using a chopstick. And you can put the frayed end over the hole and just use a chopstick or something to force it through. So once they are fully laced, all you have to do then is you take your little locking cap, the locking piece, squeeze it down as per the instructions, and then you thread through each of the laces. Like so. And you want to make sure that they, um, they're level when you put them on. Uh, slide the, the lock down as far as you need to. Cut off any excess. Uh, we'll cut off a little bit of that. Just for the video. Once you've done that, you need to take the... It's like a small crocodile mouth. There we go. And you actually feed them through, feed the laces through the back hole here. There we go, through the back hole. And then that's gonna clamp down over the top and stop the, uh, the laces from fraying and falling off and, and keeps them all together. So once that's done, it is a, it's a fairly tight fit, but once it's in, You just squeeze that together. You've got to squeeze pretty hard. There we go. And that's basically it. So if I leave that one there. So once it's all done, um, if you're a runner or, or you're a bit concerned about this, what I tend to do with mine, you can see on the... Uh, the no, you can't. What I tend to do with mine is um, once you put it on your foot, got, the, got the, uh, the fit you want, slide that down to where it needs to be, and then you can just tuck that underneath like so obviously if it's a little bit shorter it's gonna it's gonna be um, it's gonna sit further up but that's basically it really um, really really good like I say fantastic if you've got a bad back I've got dodgy legs and a bad back and it's really good so um, you don't have to be bending over all the time trying to do shoes up things like that really quick to get on and off as well so if you're in a rush um, that's not a problem at all another big benefit is these ones so my old ones I was wearing before I had these laces and you can see they really wear in the back if you slip them on and off like I do so I'm exceptionally lazy with the lock laces because you've got the uh, the give in it you don't get so much friction so they, they don't wear down as much so you shouldn't have to buy a new pair of trainers for a lot longer then. So it's going to save you money in the long run. Um, there are cheaper ones available. I haven't tried them, but they don't... I don't have the confidence in them. They don't look quite right. The easy way to spot them is... Uh, well, these ones, it literally says lock laces or lock lace on them. There we go. So if they don't look like this, they're the cheap ones. You can try them out, of course. See how they go. Um, they can't be that much different. But I imagine maybe the plastic's a bit cheaper, things like that. And if the plastic breaks, the whole thing's gone, really. You have to replace the whole lot. So these, judging from experience, these are really, really good. Other thing to uh, mention is when you put on the, the lock, make sure it's up the right way. Uh, that is up the wrong way, which is really annoying. You want it up the right way, so you've got the, the, the squeezer at the top. Definitely recommended if you go to the gym, if you're running around, if you're lazy, if you have any disability, or even for older people perhaps, um, who haven't got that mobility, it's, it's a really good idea for them. And it's they're pretty cost effective as well. I think a new pair of normal laces will probably, probably cost you around about four quid, something like that in the shop, four or five quid. So for six quid for these, um, it's gonna make your trainers last longer. It's gonna give you much better quality of life. Um, really really useful definitely worth getting okay so if you've tried lock laces or you're thinking about getting some let me know in the description below how you get on and what you think of them and uh, i'll see you in the next video